Today on the breakfast, Senator Men's Electoral Act to allow statutory delegates to vote at party congresses and conventions. What is the implication for the general election? Also on the breakfast, 18 registered political parties seek extension of deadline for conduct of primary elections to pick candidates for the 2023 elections. And don't forget also, we will be looking through today's newspapers and analyzing the biggest stories of the day. Welcome to The Breakfast. Uh, it's good to have you join us. Good morning to you. My name is Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Bopo. It's good to have you join us this beautiful uh, morning. Yes, it is actually a Wednesday morning. I'm sure Messi forgot today's day. I know. <laughs> We're going to say Thursday. No, I wasn't going to say Thursday. Tuesday. No, because Why are you I'm going to say Friday, here? Saturday, waiting no, for the weekend to come already. Morning. No, no need to say whatever week of the day it is. Huh. It's just Let's a see, day. One day we'll catch you. <laughs> we'll catch you. They say, you know what they say about um, the wind blowing and every other thing? <laughs> I'm not going to go into the local parliament. Oh, glad to have you join us. Let's just slide on to what is uh, trending. A whole lot is actually trending, but let's start with this one. Uh, remember the presidential pardon? Uh, well, it has actually not died um, uh, after all. And um, a list, a uh, full list has been um, published or reviewed or posted, whatever word you want to describe it. And um, it has gotten a whole lot of Nigerians talking. And then people are saying that, um, you know, murderers and hired criminals were actually given pardons. So um, let's start on, on this particular note. Mm -hmm. Presidential pardon is a long time practice. I mean, it's a practice that's been going on for a very uh, long time. The right of pardon, if you want to say the prerogative of Messi, it's recognized under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended in 2011. And so if you also want to look at the sections that talk about it, uh, section 212, subsection 1, 175, subsection 1 and 2, gives part to the governors and you know the president to actually you know grant all of that but i i think that if we really need to look at this because constitutionally is recognized but usually you have the outcry when uh you find out that you know those who have been granted pardon why should they be granted pardon we're talking about fraud stars those who have been involved <laughs> in money laundry terrorists bandits what have you mm -hmm. but that's what the constitution says but this principle, because it's uh, an ancient principle, it's a practice that's been going on for a very long time, you find that the ideology surrounding this is to temper mercy with justice. And that you can relate to, yes, that's justice where it comes from. Justice with mercy. Justice with mercy. Okay, the rest of it sounds like Justin and mercy. Okay, so temper. Justice with justice mercy. Justice with mercy. So I said temper mercy, mercy with, with justice. justice. <laughs> I, I think I'm to follow that's a myself. Good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, but on a serious note, justice yeah. with mercy, that's the ideology surrounding this. And you can trace that back to uh, William Shakespeare, okay? You know, proponent of all of that. But I know the reason why, the reason is very obvious. I mean, if you look at the list, you have people who are fraudulent people. They've, been, they've done a lot. Look at that list. Yeah, so a whole lot. The breach of trust, our forgery. You know, there are some people didn't spend up to even three years when they have like 14 years to spend. Um, but the money laundry, you, you also have uh, some oil issue, well, conspiracy, uh, several, uh, several issues. Bribery is The well. list is endless, right? The list is actually endless. Mm -hmm. But the reason why you have Nigerians reacting, as always, because at the time, also, you remember when Jonathan granted that uh, pardon, you know, to Alan Messier, mm -hmm. it also became a very... Yeah, it became very controversial. I mean, it, it generated a lot of reactions across the board, and you had all of those. But unfortunately, the Constitution is the Constitution. And the fact that the Constitution has not been very explicit is quite worrisome. One is, I mean, those, if you say that the governor or the president, whoever is going to be exercising this mm -hmm. right, um, should exercise it with a higher sense of responsibility. But how do you now, you, because I can never tell how responsible I would be with mm. my decision and action. 
And that's where it comes. We have not been very explicit at what points, uh, you know, do we draw the line? Where do we now say, okay, there should be a stop? It shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. But over time, I don't think it is actually, for, especially in the space, in the Nigerian space, it hasn't been very palatable for us because you have civil society organization, Nigerians reacting every other time where you have a pattern. But the constitution also stated or states that there should be, the applicant, the convict should apply. Mm -hmm. Now, what's even funny is, I don't know if all these persons who made the lease applied at the same time. They have, to, you know, there's supposed to be an application. Mm -hmm. So you apply for all of that, and then the president or the governor, who, I mean, whoever at this point in time, would have the right to, you know, reconsider, reduce the sentence, not even consider it, reject it, and all of that. So, I mean, the list is almost endless because he's been given that power to mm. do all of the that. Of and at the end of the day, we're, we're hoping that, you know, discretion, like you have mentioned. But how do you now define all of that? So what if that's his prerogative? We mm. understand all of the reactions that have been put out. Some people say the president has granted, you know, uh, pardon to criminals, criminal elements. And that's, the, that's, that's what, but that's you know, what this, they, the practice. They, they were actually sentenced. The fact is that uh, for they to be granted this um, pardon, that means they actually have committed, um, you know, the crime on one way or the other, or maybe they have spent so much time awaiting trial that several reasons, even the judge, the chief judge of the state, can actually, you know, reduce sentences of, uh, you know, some inmates, uh, some for some who have actually spent so longer time uh, wait, awaiting trial than, uh, you know, what they would have, the sentence that would have been passed on to them. For instance, let's say you did some, some uh, crime and, uh, uh, or maybe it has not even been proven yet, but you have been, you spent like five years and um, you're still awaiting trial for a case that could just be seen as some misdemeanor. By the end of the day, it is still the prerogative, that's the underlining word. They say the prerogative of um, the governor, the, the, the president, and to decide whoever they feel like, you know, given to, at the end of the day, it is the at the seat. You know, the issue of discretion, the, the issue of um, fairness, equity, morality, with all this. So, we, we, which is actually, so, so the bone of contention here. I mean, Nigerians need to understand that as much as they feel very pain, because the argument over time is that you have all of this pardon granted to political benefactors, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. And I'm asking, if you have the constitution saying they have to apply, did all of these persons on the lease apply? Did they Maybe apply? They did. Do you Maybe have all of them not. applying? Did they apply at the same time? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it was over time, and, and then you have times, at different uh, yeah. times, and then you have all of mm -hmm. this. So that's number one. But how do you define discretion? Because discretion is discretion. Mm -hmm. How do you then now, you know, define the fact that the president is, you, you know, um, I don't want to use that word because it probably might just sound very disrespectful. But that's what the constitution says. That's what the principle is expected that whoever would exercise this would be in his uh, senses. He would actually be responsible. He would also be fair in all of this. But the reason why Nigerians are reacting is it feels like, you know, those who have been granted this pardon are political benefactors. Now, for instance, there's a name that actually stands out from the list. Uh, someone who's supposed to serve um, 188 years. Uh, at the end of the day, he served them um, 144 uh, he, uh, he spent sorry, 44 years and eventually he was released. Look at the margin. He was supposed to spend 188 years. That's almost like life in prison. And uh, he uh, spent just four years and uh, he was, um, say, go home and sin no more. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, but. But then the, the, uh, some issues that would come to mind would be uh, of, okay, granting them pardon, uh, what. Uh, justification, you know, what are the yards There's no justification, use, there's no know? just... Is, is it, it they, they've, they, they've, they, they've really, um, they have changed over, turned over new leaves, or uh, what exactly have they done with their lives? The, the Constitution also stated that um, these persons would probably would have been of good behaviour yeah. and also would have met the time, so it's not that they would have probably have done the time. So it's possible that the President or the Governor could grant that pardon when a, a certain person or convict mm -hmm. had met the time. Yes. He could have, you know, done it at the end of the time or he probably would have been in the process. You have other option. Reduce the sentence. Okay. Because the power has been given to you, you have the discretion to use it however you like. But how do we define discretion is the problem. Because Nigerians are reacting. And I know why they are reacting, because this power that you have, the, uh, the power to grant pardon, the prerogative of mercy, mm. uh, that's been, you know, it's on the constitutional right, 
is yes, that is. the governor and the president hold this in public trust. So they're holding it in public trust. But the fact that they're holding public trust and they expect that whoever is going to be taking this decision should be in their right, the interest should the be public. in the interest of the public, and yeah. then, you know, should be in the right frame of mind, the decisions that will be taken, do you know? Yeah. Oh, how do you even define all of that? So it's a lot. Yes, it is a lot. I don't think that we... Because it's, it's like, why are you crying? The Constitution has given the president, he says he has discretionary powers, he has to act. We're talking about administration of justice at this point in time. Also, All the right. same Constitution mentions, uh, or, you know, mentions the fact that you also need to, there's a section of the Constitution that talks about corruption. Mm. And the fact that you have fight against corruption. Okay. And that's why Nigerians are, are speaking and calling. So you, if you look at the people that have been granted this pardon, uh, the tongues are wagging already. You have different reaction. How do you grant these persons um, pardon? But that's what that's what it is. That's why uh -huh. you have that pardon. My okay. Fingers across. We're hoping that we get to a point where you have, uh, you know, a governor or the president acting, and then you see, you know, they are using the powers judiciously. But how do you define judiciously? Is the question. All right. Uh, let's move on now. The 2023 election, um, the momentum is actually, you know, very, very, very active and a whole lot of people, you know, have uh, indicated interest. A lot of people have paid uh, 100 million naira specifically for the uh, expression of interest and domination for, uh, for the presidency, for the All Progressives Congress. One of such people who actually this is uh, Adamu Garba the second. Uh, he actually is withdrawing from the presidential race, uh, uh, and uh, this time around it is uh, it's got Nigeria talking because uh, from reports that we hear, um, eighty three uh, million you know was actually you know raised from online um, platform and of course um, from other sources from various Nigerians, and, and he actually has uh, withdrawn. Um, he's, you know, his intention, and um, a lot. You got Nigerians talking that uh, why collect them um, if a three million naira uh, from people? Uh, at the end of the day, you see you're not running. But let me just uh, read a bit of it. Adamu Garba has withdrawn from presidential race scheduled for next year, raising eighty three million naira from Nigerians. Garba told um, reporters that even though he had withdrawn from the exercise, it won't be the end of his quest to govern Nigeria someday. Garba said that the hundred million naira for nomination forms of the ruling All Progressives Congress is exploitative and may not encourage good governance. But this development comes after politician raised 83 million naira, although he had said that uh, people would um, prove um, of um, payment or so, they should come uh, email and then he will be refunding all of the money back. Well, and uh, as he took to Twitter to say, we however requested all those who donated online and who require a refund send an email with evidence of payment mm -hmm. you know to a certain email i assure you of a complete refund upon request mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, that has genuine <laughs> you say yeah, you need to see all of the like, comments they, they will not believe until they have seen all the refunds made no, but, but, but that's so he's asking that if you require to refund, why would you be saying you require no, to well, refund? The fact is that it's not even if you require it. I think no, but that's why I'm saying. So you're not saying that it's, it's possible. You're not even supposed to tell the people that you <laughs> Maybe some people, some people might not want their, the money. Some people might not want their money back. <laughs> but, but the thing is that... Um, you know, you donated, you donated the funds for a certain purpose. Mm. But it, it's just a lot for me because I have seen a lot of persons who are waking up to say they want to become a president. Mm -hmm. They want to become president in... 2023 and so you find a lot of persons declaring making intention known especially in the APC I mean you you, you need to see uh, especially with the governors Every, everyone is taking interest you have you know mm -hmm. even the Senate president you have a lot of persons saying oh we want to become uh, president in 2023 but I'm asking what what exactly is going on here a whole lot you, if you if you look at the statistics I mean you need to understand your environment you need to understand the the politics that's been played I mean it's not game as usual you have to become a flag bearer of the party so you look at yourself do you they should be able to tell themselves the truth I mean you know speak the truth right so do you stand a chance of becoming a flag bearer of the party so why okay. do you now get to why, why you, involve you, you know involve the people to uh, raise funds raise for funds. you when, when uh, so you know I, the amount I, I, and Adamu involved... should have waited up until he becomes the flag bearer to mm. ask Nigerians to send him money so it's not that you are the wait, party wait, wait. you should have wait before wait, wait I, I think say that again he should have collected money after he's become becomes a flag bearer yes I would have raised 100 million 
No. From himself, privately. I don't know. He should find a way to raise it. <laughs> he finds a way to raise it. So you, you're raising the money now when you don't even know. If you look at the persons who are competing, let's be realistic. Mm. Let's tell ourselves the truth. They should tell themselves the truth, not even me, mm. because I'm not even in that system. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you look at it. You should understand the dynamics and the game that's been played. You don't stand a chance of becoming the flag bearer. So, the so why do you not, even engage in the first place? That's and one, then you're not that's, trying that's, to raise that's one money. Way to look at it. The fact again is that uh, even people who would have contributed, uh, what did he say to them? How did he convince them? He didn't force them to contribute. They have maybe most have contributed in their own volition. It, maybe they believed in him. Maybe they believed in his, in his aspiration. And everyone has the right to dream. Everyone has the right to have some sort of ambition. So maybe he spoke to some people and they believed in him and they feel that um, he can actually drive home you know, their, their interest and all of that at the end of the day. So they decided to support him. That's my own opinion, really. Well, they decided to support him at this point. Mm. If you supported a, a project or a particular course and it yeah. has failed, then it's important that you refund. I mean, saying that if you want to, why do you put that clause? So the clause is refund the, the money, okay? If you if you <laughs> require right, to get see. the funds, just send the funds back to them, write to the bank and let them, you know, reverse the money because I'm sure that everyone that made that transaction, that definitely will be a, a detailed bank no, account or something. Detail, so so um, he, he should be writing either. to the bank and not come to tell the people, send their one cobo back to them. That's if they want it. No, they don't, you don't have to say that's if they want it. Send it back to them. No, don't, no, it, don't give them the condition that, it, that if they want it. They actually sent it for a purpose. The purpose has failed. Mm. So don't begin to say, oh, that, that's if they want it. Okay. Did he say that's if you want to support me? No, it depends on, see, that's what I'm saying again. It still depends on who sent him the money. Oh, Lord. Anyway, let's just move away from that. I'm not trying to hold proof for any politician right now. Another thing that is also trending is uh, the former president, uh, good luck, Jonathan. Remember yesterday, uh, you know, I, I was not here to discuss that with you, but uh, it was <laughs> actually here, trending. However. Uh? You were here, however. Okay, I guess I was late a bit. You, okay. know, <laughs> you know, the president, uh, you know, rejected. He, he said it was an insult uh, for the Northern uh, group to have uh, purchased uh, the form for him, that uh, he was not actually in support of it, uh, his media aide came out to, uh, you know, the, reject it, you know, and uh, another development, another twist to it right now, you know, we were told that in the Fulani group, group, um, Yeti Al and the Al Majoris were the ones who, who bought the form, but now there is um, another twist, like I said, um, Yeti Al has come out to deny purchasing the form for the former president, Good Luck Jonathan. I also read somewhere that said there were two governors involved in this particular uh, drama, this particular issue, uh, one from the northwestern part of the country and the other from the northeastern part of the country. But right now, Mieti Allah, who we were told were in support uh, or who were part of the purchase of this particular form, has come out to the bonnet. Mm. So some people so will say, so who bought form for him? It's now? me. <laughs> I'm the one. I did it. Bessie, so you, you have and 100 I. million. Come and give me 50 million. No, you and I did it. I Bessie, mean, you, I you, you can't money. be in denial. <laughs> I'll go to Bahamas. <laughs> so, so you, you and, and I... And cruise. <laughs> no, you and I actually contributed. So it, mm. it, it brings us, you know, to the same conversation. And very interesting. Really, really interesting. But I don't understand because you would always hear that without, for every particular story that you have, for every, I mean, there's no fire without smoke, right? No smoke without fire. No smoke without fire. It feels like I, I said, can... why are you just inverting everything <laughs> no, today? No, that's what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> no, smoke... no smoke without fire. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get it. Uh, so it's not me, Tiala, that uh, did the purchase of the farm. Uh, the yeah, former indeed. president is pissed at the fact that he's been insulted by whoever did the purchase of the farm. And he was also in quotes seen sleeping with the enemy. You know, he was. Uh, he actually. Yes, because there was a picture. Channel. When you said the enemy, I mean, that's a very no, strong. No, word. no, it's, it's actually. <laughs> I said in quotes. Okay. You know, sleeping with the enemy. It's actually a movie, Julia Roberts. Okay. So, so not the enemy. <laughs> not so the enemy. As there in, was I a picture of him with the chairman mm. of the. Well, I mean, the enemy. You know, he's PDP, and then they are APC. That's what I meant. I don't know, but <laughs> you also have other quotas saying that, that he's not been attending their meetings very well. Apart from that, mm. you also have the APC. Uh, there was a picture of him with the APC chairman. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, that picture is viral. 
so we don't understand. But it's also possible that the chairman of the APC was trying to find out from him, did you really get this form or did you not get this form? Who got this form on your behalf and all of that? Uh, I, 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 it's quite dicey. It's a very sensitive conversation. It is. But if you follow the pulse of Nigerians in different parts uh, and in different spaces, the, the conversation, the voice is still very one. Everyone is saying, we think that good luck, Jonathan, should take care of arrests. You know, just go home and relax. You did fantastic. Fantastic. And maybe he needs to listen to the voice of the people because usually there's a statement that says the voice of the people is the voice of God. So if you have the same in 2015, it's the same party that kicked you out for whatever reason. Some people were like, you should have followed. If you say the elections were rigged at that time, how come you actually gave in to it? Why didn't you follow through? I mean, why didn't we have, you know, appealing to the courts and what have you, mm. litigations, but that didn't happen. And now you have the same party. So let's even say this is anything to uh, come by. I mean, if it's truth right now, mm. and if there's any element of truth with it, do you think he should, he sh you know? Because there's a whole, lot, a whole lot to look at here because a lot of people like, uh, over time you have left um, of your, your, you lost them um, to, or you conceded to the incumbent You president, conceded. Yeah, conceded. That's to, the word. Uh, conceded to President Muhammad Buhari. And um, over time you've had to enjoy a whole lot of um, recognition because of what you've done. You've represented, um, you know, the continent and uh, across various fora and that uh, you have been recognized internationally. You know, but then it will look in Sorting. I don't know. I don't know how it would look if you would now try to be friends with the same people who you actually seemingly lost to, and the same people that had accused your government of um, corruption and a whole lot of ineptitude. At the end of the day, you just seemingly just forgot about everything so fast, and you're just dining and whining with them. How does that really look? No, because he has. He. I mean, looking at the statement that was put out by his um, mm. aide and mm. what have you, media aide, it's like if the EV wanted to become president, or he has intention of becoming president in 2023, mm. he would categorically state that Stated. he wants to become president so we don't understand but let's just even believe because that's mm -hmm. what it is you have some elements in the system who are taking advantage of his personality for whatever reason i mean you have a I lot of persons why, why they would chose you know good luck jonathan to begin to play this politics so mm -hmm. what's going on is politics and that's what we're being told but fingers are crossed and nigerians are saying it had better be the politic you know, we had better be politicking and this is politics because we we don't yeah, hope to wake up someday and hear that you know good luck jonathan has the camp from the PDP uh, we didn't say to become the APC. We didn't say a lot of this the last time, this been session 99, but this particular time... We're evolving. <laughs> evolving <laughs> dramatically. It's been so, so much of a drama one day or the other. You know, how many people, over 20 people contributed 100 million for the APC? I'm just saying. But we'll leave that at that and uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back. We'll go straight to Off the Press in a moment to join us again. <laughs> 